1630 Martin Montoya has joined Brighton from Valencia on a four-year contract. The 27-year-old former Barcelona defender's arrival is subject to international clearance but the Premier League side have been given an extension until 7pm to complete the deal. Harry Arter has joined Cardiff City on loan from Bournemouth. The 28-year-old will spend the season with the Welsh side but will be unable to play in their first Premier League game of the season as it is against his parent club. The 24-year-old will spend this season with the Premier League side after enjoying a spell at Valencia at the start of the year. Read more here Jordan Ayew has completed a transfer from Swansea to Crystal Palace, his brother Andrew has confirmed on Twitter. The forwards spent 18 months at Swansea before their relegation to the championship last season, but returns to the Premier League with Roy Hodgson's team. Bro it's the time at Jordan underscore IU9 God thank you don't know how to thank you. One love proud of you picked at twitter.com slash mc8 nop if Andre IU at IU under August 9, 2018 Newcastle have signed Federico Fernandez from Swansea for 6 million pounds. The 29-year-old has signed a two-year deal with the Magpies to reunite with Rafael Benitez, who coached him at Napoli. Click here to read the full story Josh Windas has joined Wigan from Rangers, the Glasgow side confirmed, the 24-year-old will move to the championship for an undisclosed fee after two seasons with Rangers. Memo https colon slash slash t dot co slash x four vap six oh seven l pick dot twitter dot com slash seven y four s two rm one kj rangers football club at rangers fc august 9, twenty eighteen but champions league winners back out of deal real madrid have rejected the chance to sign inter striker marwi cardi after holding talks with his representative according to libertad digital Icardi's agent and wife, Juan Dunara, has been pushing for a deal with the European champions since the start of the year, but they have no interest in bringing him to the Santiago Bermabu. It has been a stressful transfer window for some in the English top flight as clubs scrambled to get their teams in shape before Thursday's deadline. But who conducted the best business throughout the summer and who will be left disappointed by their dealings? Goal takes a look at the winners and losers of the window. See the full list here Leicester City have announced that they have reached a £19 million, £24 million deal with Bundesliga side Freiburg for Kagler Soinku. The 22-year-old Turkey international joins the Premier League club after signing a five-year deal. Read the full story here Fulham's transfer dealings for this window are not over, according to the Daily Mail, who report that the club are set to sign Luciano Vieto on loan from Atletico Madrid. The 24-year-old Argentine would join a legion of new additions at Craven Cottage, with the club already securing the services of players such as Andre Sherla, Jean-Michael Sarri and Alfie Mawson. The 5 p.m. transfer deadline has indeed passed and some fans may be a bit annoyed that their clubs haven't managed to land any big signings. However, deals can still be announced after the deadline, so long as clubs have submitted their deal sheets on time. Expect more activity up until 7 p.m. Well, not a very good one, to put it midly, Manchester United correspondent Chris Vokes believes that Jose Mourinho has been sold short by the club's approach to the transfer market. Read more. Wait, you want some more, thinking face. The French defender is expected to join on loan info at L'Equipe Everton Vient de Trouve un accord avec Chelsea pour obtenir la prête de l'international français Kurt Zoma. Les toffees doivent mettre en boucle les formalités autour de la rive du jeu avant 18 hers https colon slash slash t dot co slash lpxq903 pxb, Bulalgazi, at Bulalgazi, August 9, 2018 Everton are nearing the completion of a deal for Chelsea defender Kurt Zoma, according to L'Equipe. 
The Toffees recently finalized moves for Yeri Minas and Andre Gomes from Barcelona, while Bernard signed on a free transfer from Shakhtar Donetsk. Zoma, who is expected to come in on loan, would be an added defensive reinforcement for Marco Silva's side. Danny Ings looks like he's got his move. Southampton made a late bid. Not sure on fee yet, but deal should get done. Right, let's g o o o o o o clenched fist. The 24-year-old, who has been capped at senior level by Spain, joins the club on loan. Breaking, Albion have completed the signing of 17-year-old midfielder Peter Guargas from Swedish side at Chisodra. Brighton or set beat Fulham to the punch in signing Martin Montoya from Valencia, Sky Sports reports. The 27-year-old defender, who counts Barcelona and Inter among his former clubs, had reportedly been close to joining the Cottagers, but the Seagulls appear to have swooped. The Portugal international joins in temporary move Barcelona have confirmed that Andre Gomes has joined Everton on a year-long loan deal. The midfielder follow Yerry Mina and Lucas Vigne in treading the path from Camp Nou to Goodison Park this summer. Read the full story here. Welcome to just in time, winking face. Writing hand breaking, Albion have completed the The 5 p.m. deadline is here, the Toffees have completed a 30 million euros deal Barcelona have confirmed that they have reached an agreement to sell Yerry Mina to Everton for 30 million euros, 27 million pounds per 35 million dollars. Catalan club have included a buyback clause in the deal with the Toffees. Mina is the second player to make the switch from Camp Nou to Goodison Park this summer, following in the footsteps of Lucas Vigne, while Andre Gomes looks set to follow. The Toffees have landed the winger from Shakhtar Donetsk, Brazil. Bernard signs a four-year contract with the Blues. Bemvinda, at B underscore 10 Duarte, right finger more, https colon slash slash t dot co slash umshu to wivu pick dot twitter dot com slash mishwad as Everton at Everton August 9, 2018 Everton have completed the signing of Brazil international Bernard, who joins the club on a four-year deal. Plum are not planning to sell teenage superstar Ryan Sessegnon, according to Vice Chairman and Director of Football Tony Khan, who described the England U21 men as key to the Cottager squad. Sessegnon enjoyed a superb season as Fulham clinched promotion to the Premier League in 2017-18, making 48 championship appearances and scoring 16 goals for Slovisa Jakinovic's side, along with featuring in their playoff final victory against Aston Villa. Read the full story. Arjen Robin is hoping Jerome Boateng stays at Bayern Munich this summer, hailing him as one of the best central defenders in the world. Large Circle Fulham are set to complete the signing of Manchester United defender Timothy Fossa Mensa, according to Sky Sports. The Cottagers have already recruited the likes of Alexander Mitrovic, Jean-Michael Sarri and Andre Scherla ahead of the new season. Fou Mensa would join recent additions Callum Chambers and Alfie Mawson as a defensive option. With just 35 minutes to go before the transfer window shuts, time is running out for clubs to close deals. Which players are most in need of a move in this window? Goal takes a look. David Ospina is set to complete his exit from Arsenal after agreeing personal terms with Besiktas. As reported by Goal, the Colombia international had been in talks with the Turkish outfit and is set to finalize his move ahead of the transfer deadline. Chelsea could be set to bid farewell to two more players before the summer transfer window closes across Europe, with Dennis Wise expecting Danny Drinkwater and Team Auba Kayako to move on. The arrival of Mateo Kovacic at Stamford Bridge on loan from Real Madrid has further bolstered a midfield unit in West London which has already welcomed Jorginho this summer. Read the full story. Brazil international Bernard is set to complete his move to Everton after being granted a work permit, Sky Sports reports.
the 25-year-old will arrive at Goodison Park from Ukrainian outfit Shakhtar Donetsk. Nikola Kalinic will join our club on a permanent transfer from Itak Milan. Welcome, Nikola, large circle white circle large circle right arrow https colon slash slash t dot co slash jajuk 13 keys. Manchester United defender Marcos Rojo is a target for Everton, according to the Telegraph. Marco Silva is keen to strengthen his defense and the Argentina international would cost the Toffees in the region of £22 million, $28 million. Heffel joins the Reds. Time is definitely running out now, with just 60 minutes left until the deadline. Will there be any surprise last-minute moves? Bournemouth midfielder Harry Arter is expected to make a temporary switch to newly promoted Cardiff City, reports Sky Sports. The Republic of Ireland international is said to have turned down the chance to join Watford in order to sign for the Welsh outfit on a season-long loan. BRFC after agreeing a season-long loan. Details https colon slash slash t dot co slash e4 cdlcgo one a pic dot twitter dot com slash piachtelsha Watford Football Club at Watford FC August 9th 2018 Watford have sent striker Alex Yakubiak out on a season long loan to Bristol Rovers. Thibaut Courtois has opened the door for former Chelsea teammate Eden Hazard to join him at Real Madrid, saying that it would be fantastic if a transfer could be done. The goalkeeper was speaking at his unveiling at the Bermabu, having completed a 35 million euros, 31 million pounds per 40 million dollars move from Stamford Bridge. And shortly after posing kissing Madrid's badge, he issued a call for Belgium colleague Hazard to join him in Spain, a deal that continues to be a long-running saga for the player. Read the story in full. Newcastle United are set to complete the signing of Federico Fernandez from Swansea City, according to the Evening Chronicle. The Magpies missed out on Barcelona defender Marlon, but Argentine centre-back Fernandez is expected to undergo a medical ahead of the deadline. Star City striker Islam Slimani is close to completing a loan move to Fenerbahce, reports Sky Sports. The 30-year-old Algeria international joined the Foxes from Sporting Lisbon in 2016, but has failed to secure a starting position at the club and spent last season on loan at Newcastle United. Alexis Sanchez admits he was hoping for more world-class players to arrive at Manchester United as Jose Mourinho faces up to a frustrating deadline day. When the Red Devils landed the Chile International in January, his arrival was considered to be quite the coup and a sign of things to come at Old Trafford. United have, however, struggled to build on that deal, with Mourinho conceding that there may be no more additions on the final day of the summer window. Read the story in full right here. KEPA on Hazard's future, I always like to have the best players in my team. For him, it is a personal situation but I hope to have the best players around me. I always like to have the best players in my team, KEPA said at his unveiling. For Hazard, it is a personal situation but I hope to have the best players around me, Red Devils consider PSG left back Manchester United held a meeting on Wednesday to discuss the possibility of signing PSG's Lave in Kurzawa, according to Lekeep. The report claims coach Thomas Tuchel sees the France international as his first choice left back for the new season, but states that a late bid from the Red Devils should not be ruled out. It is said that sporting director Antero Henrique would not be against the sale of the 25-year-old as PSG could reinvest the money in Juventus fullback Alex Sandro. It doesn't look like Leon Bailey will be arriving in the Premier League anytime soon, with Bear Leverkusen director Rudy Valla revealing that the club has received no bids for the winger. The transfer window closes at 5pm in England and we have no offer for him, Baller said when asked about the possibility of an exit for the Jamaican. Bailey has been linked with a number of clubs across Europe during this transfer window, including Man City and Roma. Tottenham might not have made a signing this summer, but manager Mauricio Pochettino has praised the massive effort that the club have made to retain the existing squad, most notably Harry Kane.
The North Londoners might not have any new arrivals to grace their team this season, but the Argentine is content to work with the squad that helped them to finish third last term. Check out the full story here. Welcome KEPA. Chelsea have unveiled their new signing KEPA Ariza Balaga. I am incredibly happy to be here, said the 23-year-old. It's a great challenge to me and means a lot. It's a great step forward in my career, welcome KEPA. We are delighted to confirm that Leander Dendonker has joined Wolves on an initial season-long loan from Adar Skanderlecht. Real Madrid star Luka Modric is still keen on making a move to Inter, reports Gazeta dello Sport. The Croatia midfielder has been closely linked with the Serie A side since the conclusion of the World Cup and is expected to meet with Madrid president Florentino Perez in the coming days. Tottenham could still lure Jack Grealish away from Aston Villa, says Harry Redknapp, with it likely that Daniel Levy will push through a last-minute job. Spurs have been frustrated so far in their efforts to land the highly rated 22-year-old. Villa have rebuffed offers up to £25 million, pounds, $32 million, with the championship club reluctant to part with prized assets despite their much-publicized financial struggles. Read the full story right here on Goal, and at Callum 1 Connolly has immediately joined Atlantic's official on a season-long loan. Good luck Cal, thumbs up pick at twitter.com slash pizjusbbb, Everton at Everton August 9, 2018 Everton have sent Callum Connolly on loan to championship side Wigan for the rest of the season. The 20-year-old defender had just put pen to paper on a new contract with the Toffees and has immediately gone out in search of first-team football. Newcastle are aiming to agree a fee with Swansea for Federico Fernandez as the defender prepares to undergo a medical, reports Sky Sports News. An injury to Florian Lejeune has prompted Newcastle to move for defensive cover, and talks are ongoing between the two clubs over a £6 million fee for Fernandez. However, while Fernandez closes in on a move to St James's Park, it appears unlikely that Newcastle will sign Barcelona defender Marlon Santos. AC Milan have turned down a 60 million euros, 54 million pounds per 69 million dollars offer from Wolves for Frank Kessie, with the midfielder happy to stay where he is, claims CalcioMercato.com. Wolves have enjoyed an impressive summer in the transfer market since promotion to the Premier League, and offered an initial 40 million euros, 36 million pounds per 46 million dollars, plus 20 million euros, 18 million pounds per 23 million dollars in add-ons for Kessie. However, Milan don't want to sell and are now planning talks over a new contract for the 21-year-old. Everton looking like they will get Yerry Mina, it hasn't been easy for them, so it will have a knock-on effect on Kurt Zoma. He may have to find another loan club. Everton are set to sign Andre Gomes from Barcelona on a season-long loan, goal understands. Gomes will undergo his medical and complete his signing in Spain before traveling to Merseyside to be unveiled at Goodison Park. He could join former Barca teammate Lucas Vigne at Everton, while the Premier League club are also hoping to finalize a deal for centre-half Yerry Mina. Feed more on goal right here. Keeper signs six-year contract with Real Madrid Thibaut Courtois believes he has joined the best club in the world after finalizing his 35 million euros 31 million pounds per 40 million dollars transfer to Real Madrid from Chelsea. Courtois has passed a medical in the Spanish capital and put pen to paper on a six-year contract. The 26-year-old said at his official unveiling, arriving at the best club in the world is a responsibility and an honor, read the full story on goal right here. Breaking. Full details https colon slash slash t dot co slash ho for tika 6 fm pick dot twitter dot com slash 8 hajalis 8 preston north and fc at pnefc the 9th of august 2018 manchester city striker lucas and mecca has dropped down to the championship to link up with preston on a season-long loan. Bayern Munich defender Jerome Boateng trained with the club on Thursday as speculation continues to swirl around his future. 
The 29-year-old, who was a member of the national team that won the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, has been linked with the move away from the Allianz Arena during this transfer window, with Manchester United and Paris Saint-Germain both touted as potential destinations. Read more here. Wolves have been dealt a blow in their attempts to sign Manchester City defender Alexander Zinchenko, with the move breaking down according to Sky Sports. The recently promoted side had hoped to land the 21-year-old ahead of the new Premier League season, but will have to look elsewhere now. Manchester United should have been looking for a new striker not a centre-half, says Paul Ince, with Jose Mourinho now facing further frustration on transfer deadline day. The former Red Devils midfielder told the BBC, I definitely think they need another striker as backup to Romelu Lukaku, someone in a similar mould to the Belgian, do you agree with Ince? See what else he had to say. Record-breaking deals from Liverpool and Chelsea for Allison and KEPA or Zabalaga have seen goalkeeper transfer fees pushed ridiculously high, says Leicester's Kasper Schmeichel. It was only a matter of time before goalkeepers would get in on the act, said the Denmark international. Read the full story. Barcelona defender is set to join the Toffees. Yeri Mina is having a medical in Spain in order to save time ahead of his move from Barcelona to Everton, reports Sky Sports. The Colombia international, who has also been linked with Manchester United, is set to complete his move to Goodison Park imminently. Claude Poole has poked fun at Manchester United fans by suggesting that Harry Maguire will be going Manchester, but only for Leicester's game against the Red Devils at Old Trafford. I can confirm he is going to Manchester, Poole told reporters in a pre-match press conference. But only for two hours when we play there on Friday, read the full story. Checkmark We are delighted to announce signing of Russian national team forward Fyodor Smolov, fire hears his message to locomotive fan speaking head. Blue Heart Thumbs Up at Divit Courtois underwent his medical at the Itzonitas La Moraleja University Hospital. United Kingdom United States at Real Madrid on August 9, 2018 New Real Madrid signing Thibaut Courtois is set to be unveiled after completing his medical with the club. The Belgium international made a 35 million euros 31 million pounds per 40 million dollars switch from Chelsea to the Santiago Bernabeu on Wednesday evening and Los Blancos are keen to present their new man to the fans. Red Devils denied and bid for Atletico Madrid star Diego Godin has rejected the chance to join Manchester United after the Red Devils triggered the defender's release clause. The Red Devils are in a desperate hunt to find defensive reinforcements ahead of the 2018-19 campaign and Godin became the latest name to be linked with the club, when it emerged that they had met the Atletico Madrid man's 20 million euros, 18 million pounds per 23 million dollars, release clause. However, they will have to look elsewhere after the 32-year-old turned down their advances. Goals Manchester United correspondent Chris Vokes has all the details. AEPA Arzabalaga described himself as a calm, settled goalkeeper, but predicted that he would fit into Maurizio Sarri's aggressive style of football at Chelsea. The 23-year-old became the world's most expensive goalkeeper when he completed a £72 million, $93 million transfer from Athletic Bilbao and he expressed his excitement about working with Sarri, who arrived at the club from Napoli in July. Read the full story. Tottenham will not be making a deadline day bid to sign Aston Villa midfielder Jack Grealish, reports Sky Sports. Spurs have been chasing the England under-21 international for a number of months, but Villa are adamant that the player is not for sale, and, as the deadline looms, it appears that the North London side have given up on their men. Red Devils look to Uruguayan for defensive reinforcement Manchester United are now chasing Atletico Madrid defender Diego Godin as they attempt to bolster their backline, according to Sky Sports. The Red Devils are in a desperate fight to strengthen their defense ahead of the new campaign and Uruguay international Godin, who has a release clause of €20 million, Euros, £18 million pounds per €23 million, dollars, has now emerged as an alternative after their pursuits of other targets hit snags. United have been linked with a host of defenders during the transfer window, including Jerome Boateng, Toby Alderweireld, Yerry Mina and Harry Maguire. England International wants to join Neymar & Co.
Tottenham defender Danny Rose is ready to snub Schalke as he holds out for a move to Paris Saint-Germain, reports The Sun. England international Rose is wanted by Schalke, who are keen to complete a loan deal for the left-back but interest from PSG has complicated matters. New Croatia Fox Facebook. Twitter.com slash JS9PYGAM, Leicester City, at LCFC, August 9, 2018 Leicester City have agreed a deal to sign Filip Benkovic from Dinamo Zagreb, with the defender putting pen to paper on a five-year contract. I will give all my heart to this club, to all the fans, to everybody, the 21-year-old told the club's official website. Hopefully we'll have a very good result this season, Neymar may have committed his immediate future to Paris Saint-Germain but a move to Real Madrid will be made, sooner or later, says former Barcelona star Rivaldo. Read more here. We are delighted to announce the signing of striker Lucas Perez from Arsenal. I'm very happy to be here at such an historic club, Perez said. I'm very excited, as West Ham are giving me the chance to stay in the Premier League and I'm very happy to be part of this new project, get all the details here. The chances of any transfer incomings at Liverpool on transfer deadline day are minimal, but Danny Ings could be on his way out of Anfield. Jurgen Klopp has already bolstered his squad with a number of signings this summer, with Naby Keita, Fabinho, Jordan Shakiri and Allison all arriving, but Goal understands that will be the full extent of their recruitment. However, there could well be deadline day activity, with things potentially leaving the Merseyside club, with a number of Premier League sides circling. Everton are attempting to complete a move for Barcelona midfielder Andre Gomes, as well as finalize the deal for Yerry Mina, according to The Sun. Portugal international Gomes has struggled to make an impact with the Catalan Giants since signing from Valencia in 2016 and the report indicates that Marco Silva is keen to secure a double signing. The midfielder arrives from Real Madrid for the season all confirmed. Memo at Mateo. COVID-23 is a blue for the season ahead. Rakitic helped Croatia to the World Cup final in Russia this summer and has attracted interest from the League One giants but they are concerned about the midfielder's 125 million euros, 113 million pounds per 145 million dollars, release clause. Zambawangui Saparti Poor. Fulham, Quasiment Dekor Avec LOM Pour and Montan de Voisinant 30 million euros. Le Duas Toujours Sur Marseille. BM, Set Opre Media Marseille, Mohamed Bouhafsi, at Mohamed Bouhafsi, August 9, 2018. Fulham are set to complete a 30 million euros deal, 27 million pounds per 35 million dollars, for Marseille midfielder Andre Zimbawanguisa, according to sources in France. West Ham are considering a last-minute move for Tottenham striker Fernando Llorente, reports the Daily Mail. Hammers boss Manuel Pellegrini is finalizing his plans for his first campaign at the helm, but is eager to add another target man to his squad and Llorente fits the bill. The 33-year-old Spain international has played second fiddle to Harry Kane at Spurs and could be available for £7 million, $9 million or on loan. There may be no new additions at Old Trafford bad news for Manchester United fans. Jose Mourinho has poured cold water on the idea that the Red Devils could recruit some new faces this deadline day. The Portuguese told reporters, I'm not confident. I'm not confident and the market closes today so is time at least for me to stop thinking about the market because the market will be closed, read the full story. Manchester City earlier signed Australia international midfielder Daniel Arzani from Melbourne City, beating the likes of Juventus to the 19-year-old signature. City's managing director of global football, Brian Marwood, told the club's official website, in a short period of time, Daniel has developed into one of Australia's brightest young stars and has demonstrated the drive and raw talent required for success at the highest level, get all the details of the deal here. Usman Dembele intends to remain at Barcelona, ruling out a deadline day move to Arsenal, and admits, he is keen to play alongside fellow Frenchman Paul Pogba at some stage.
Having endured a testing time at Camp Nou following a big money move in the summer of 2017, it had been suggested that the World Cup winner could head for pastures new before the current window closes. Check out what the France international had to say here. Ajax midfielder Frankie de Jong could potentially make a switch to Barcelona this summer depending on how the Dutch side fare in the Champions League, Sport reports.